Are there any words of life wisdom you want to talk about now? Don't touch the hot part of the iron. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Made Crafts. I'm Mallory. Chu is behind next to the camera. Under the camera! <laughs> okay, that was weird. <laughs> Our channel is where uh, craft beer and handcrafts combine. Um, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to be too messy today. Oh. Uh, give it time. I usually find a way. Yes. Today, I'm actually going to be working on a gift for Sidelot Brewing Company. Their tap room was super cozy and had like the couches and pillows and everything. So I'm making them a pillow with a, an applique that is reminiscent of their logo. It's going to be really fun. I'm really excited about it. Time's up. Applique. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> you have the pillow cover and then it is applied on top of that like, as a decoration. Oh. We are going to dig into our first beer though. Today from Sidelot Brewery and Elder and Oat Bakery recently baked a cream ale brewed with donuts and they got all the cute little donuts on the can. All right let's see how it smells. I'm getting kind of a biscuit, a uh, little bit of vanilla. It smells how I expected a cream ale to smell. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Wow, that has a huge flavor right off the bat. Creamy. There is a hop hit to it halfway through the sip. It comes on the further back part of the tongue. and But it's gentle. I mean, it has a little bit of a, a hit to it, but it's not like over the top. But you do get that sweetness of like the, the cake donuts. The old-fashioned donuts, I think they're called it like Duncan, which actually are one of my favorites. And this is in conjunction with a bakery, so they did actually use real donuts in the making. There is a hot finish to it. You get the cream ale, you get the donuts, but then you have a, a bit of a hot bite to it. Yeah, this is good. Uh, most of the time, if it's a donut, it's in a stout or... Yeah, know. yeah, the pastry stouts or... Um, the dessert porters will have like that donut kind of flavor to it. I actually haven't seen too many of the cream ales mm. with that, which I think that's just and lovely. It's definitely not overly sweet. No, no, it's like, not overly sweet. It has a, a hint of sweet. That is really nice. I'm gonna enjoy this one while I'm doing this craft. And my goal is to finish this craft in one day. That's the goal. It's 11.58 right now, so you got <laughs> two minutes to finish it. We are making a pillow for Sidelot, uh, decorative for their space. I do realize that it's a brewery. I do realize that people spill. So we are actually making an envelope pillow cover. We have a pillow form here. It is 21 inches square. So this is going to be inside the pillow. I will be using bright yellow fabric. Whoa. Nice bright beer color, right? For the cover. I do have my tape measure here. I decided to get a little crazy on canva.com. It is a website based on graphic design, but there is a free version that you can use and they have tons of different graphics and things. I'll probably show a little snippet of me kind of working on this, but that is where I made the, the logo or not their logo, but the logo that I wanted to put on this the pillow. Design. Canva right now. I do pay for the pro. I'm going to do poster landscape, create blank. And then in here you have a whole bunch of fun stuff that you can use. I'm going to start out making my background what bright yellow, right? Ta-da! Done. And then elements has all this different stuff that you can play with. So I'm going to type old truck. And I have several different ones here to pick from. If you see the little crown, that one is you only get with the paid version. So uh, if there's no little crown, you can use it for free. Uh, I used this one and I stretched it out the size of the screen or as close as I could on there. I went a little too far. 
pull it back a little bit because I want the yellow to be on the edges and center it there we go I wanted the truck to be blue so I can change the colors up here give it a light blue color was that one and I really got playing with it uh, for the elements like I did um, a bicycle and I chose a bicycle to put in the back of the truck and it's really kind of a fun thing I did this one and I think I flipped it so flip horizontal placed it where I wanted it here and then you can right click and send backwards and there it looks like it's sitting in the truck but now I'm seeing it's a little too low because it's in the wheel well so slide it on up but I'm still seeing it through there I <laughs> got a little awkward with several of these where I just chose like a square and made it white and then made it the size I wanted to hide those spots where it's a cutout in the design. So I can copy that and paste it. And I wanted glass for the window. They have so many fun photos that you can use in here. I mean, it's just craziness. For example, if you wanted to do that one. Send back. <laughs> it's dorky, but <laughs> I'm amused. So I'm gonna leave it like that for right now. And I chose hop. And I picked, I think, this one, made it white, a little smaller, stuck it on the door. But that's the general gist. I mean, that's literally how I made this. Uh, and then I printed it out on fabric paper. So there you go. That's a quick little tutorial in Canva. <laughs> fun program, though. I have a lot of fun using this one. Cheers, everyone. I have photo fabric, paper-backed fabric for use with inkjet printers. Ooh. I also did print out two of them in case I screw the first one up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me feel it, because it looks like just regular paper. Oh no. No, that's it's fabric. Still, yeah, the fabric on the front. Yeah, it's fabric on the front. There's uh, paper on the back and you peel this off and it's just fabric and then you sew it onto oh. things. So, so it's um, not one of those iron. Wow. No, it is not iron on. Okay. I kind of love this stuff. Got my applique, got my fabric, got my pillow, got my tape measure. I am ready to get going. Most importantly, got my beer, and less importantly, got my cameraman. So we are good to go. Hmm. <laughs> In doing one of these, you need fabric that is obviously longer than the pillow that you're covering. I have pre-cut this out. I have it at 23 inches tall, 45 inches wide. The pillow itself is 21 inches. So I'm going to be using one piece of fabric for the whole thing. Take the pillow form size times two and then add three extra inches so you have your um, overage. Now I do have to also hem to make it look a little nicer. That's only going to be half an inch and we're still a good cover by about an inch and a half so I think we're all right on that one. We're just gonna hop right in. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> First and foremost, I'm gonna have to iron this baby because it is crinkly. It was in my fabric drawer and it was all folded up. Crinkle, 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 I made you out of cotton. Okay, the short ends, quick hem. Nice and simple. We got our sewing machine all set up. I did pin uh, the hem on one of the short ends and ironed that flat. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that and the other end. And then we will get to the applique before I sew 
the trifold for the pillow because once it's trifolded, I can't sew the applique on. That's true. <laughs> so we are gonna take care of the hems first. All right, I'm gonna backstitch a few and then we are gonna go on straight through the whole hem. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Hey, it looks like a hem. It's a little wobbly. I wasn't very straight on it, but it's okay. Most of my sewing I do by hand. Honestly, I don't use sewing machines very often. And the last time I used a sewing machine, I broke three needles. Now, I was using a fabric that's a little too sturdy for this little guy, but still, uh, survived, got through. We now have a hem. I'll be doing the same thing on the other end. Fingers crossed we make it through and then we'll be putting on the applique. Got the hems done on the two short ends. Have this here, literally just gonna trim right around the picture and then I'm gonna sew that onto our fabric. You got a lot of beer left over there. You're right, I do, neat. It's a good idea not to drink a lot of beer before the sewing machine. Or the iron. That's true too. Yeah. Save that for when you're using scissors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. I, I've never put an applique on anything before. So this is new territory. Um, I try to do new territory every time I'm doing a craft because there's a lot of stuff I haven't done. There's a lot of stuff I don't know how to do. And there's always a chance that I can add to my crash and burn craft videos. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to get sewn onto the center of this fabric. If I screw that up, I have to buy new fabric. Because <laughs> I can't just undo that like you can on a hem. It's not the same. <laughs> so, because it'll be right in the middle. <laughs> Real obvious. I have to do my best to not screw that up um, but you know it's more fun when you're trying new things all the time and learning new things all the time if there are true sewists watching this i am so sorry for what you've <laughs> witnessed because holy crackers this is mostly self-taught and a little bit of youtube like that that's my that's my level on the sewing uh so i do my best but you know I'm going to keep trying and when I make mistakes on camera, people who haven't done it before are going to see those mistakes and go, I'm totally not going to do that. I'm saving everyone time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she does not mistakes. She does it on purpose for you guys. Oh yes. Yes. All of my mistakes are on purpose to yep. help people, right? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> I want to see what it'll look like. I get impatient and want to see it sometimes. No, you're, it's not, your name is not impatiently me craft. <laughs> it's imperfectly me. <laughs> impatiently me would be a fun name for a channel too though. <laughs> and do the do, do, do cloth and get it all pretty and then do the thing and do it all pretty. Oh, look how cute that is. That looks pretty good. Let's see how it looks on this camera. Ooh. Ooh. It's so pretty. Very nice. It's gonna be cute in their mm -hmm. tap room. Here we go. Oh, I, cheers. I don't know what's going on. I keep on reminding her today to keep on drinking. <laughs> I've been behind. You want to cheers, babe? Yes. Cheers. So I'm using the door handle here as my measuring point. 22 and a half is the center point of the length. 12 and a half is the center point for the height. And I'm pretty much square. So that is our spot. I'm going to pin that down and then sew it on. All right, so I won't be starting with a reverse stitch on these because I need to keep it as clean as humanly possible. I am a little concerned because I don't have a lot of experience doing appliques. I am going to take a scrap of the fabric for the applique and I'm going to cut a 
piece of extra fabric that I have for this. And I'm going to try putting them together first and practice before I really attempt this on the final product. Because practice makes improvement. This uh, printed fabric, it literally got torn by the stitches. It'll have to be full on for the zigzag stitch because it... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the half on, half off, it tears apart already, so it'll have to be full, full on stitch for this. It's a good thing we tried it. All right, I'm glad that we checked it out. Ready? Yep, I'm gonna close my eyes. That's probably for the best. <laughs> I, I'm gonna close my eyes too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wish me luck, guys. I wish I could slow this damn thing down. That's the slowest setting I have. All right. I got this. I got this. Right there. It's perfect. No, it's imperfect and that makes me happy. <laughs> Looks good. I like it. I like it too. I did a good job. <sighs> Next we will be... Gosh. It's just the seams left. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Pull that over. I know where the center point is now of the cloth because of where the door handle is, so I have to cross over the door handle by about an inch or two. It doesn't have to be precise, just as long as both sides agree. About an inch or two, and then I'm gonna measure to make sure that that's big enough to fit my pillow form in. Measure with the measuring tape, darling. Yeah, measure stuff. Uh... Because that's rounded, I need an actual measurement. It needs to be 21 inches. It is 21 inches on the dot. Last step, guys. Last step, yay! Super exciting. Oh, I have to actually pin it first. Look at me being so excited. I'm like, I don't need pins. Who needs pins? The name of the channel for this craft is Pins. Imperfectly, no, impatiently me. Impatiently me, yes. Actually, impatiently Mallory. Yes. I'm putting my pins at the inch and a half mark because I know that's where the line goes. That will give me a guide as I move along. You want to drink that beer before we can pour the other one? <gasps> that's right, yes. You want me to get it? Right yes, please. Yeah. Hey, get Thank out of here, kitty. Stop looking underneath the door trying to figure out what we're doing. Sneaky kitty trying to come in and see what's happening. She doesn't get to see, huh, huh. Kitty's left out of the craft room. They're supposed to be left out of the craft room until she brings them in and gets cat hair all over my table. Yeah. Because that's how that works. Hey, I think I should try some of that. I don't remember what it tasted like. You're going to hate it right now. It's really warm. <laughs> I like hot stuff. She brought up a new beer. And we're kind of excited about this one. This is made by Sidelat Brewery. It's called Flow. It's a flavored sparkling water. This is non-alcoholic. But it is CBD infused which we found interesting. Mm -hmm. It's grapefruit flavor, zero sugar. We've never tried anything like this before and we're kind of excited to give it a shot. Protect the fabric first. Protect the fabric. Oh yeah, that's bubbly. Um, wait. According to the SRM index, what color is it? Uh, I'm going to give this a color of clear with fast moving carbonation. Um, great clarity. <laughs> Let's see how it smells. It bubbles on your nose. <laughs> um, honestly, I got no nothing on the scent. I don't get grapefruit. No. It smells like I'm, it's like I'm smelling a glass of water with mm. nothing in it, but the bubbles are splashy. So I have a wet nose now. To CBD infused grapefruit sparkling water from Sidelot Brewery. Cheers. Huh. This would be amazing 
with a good gin. Not even kidding. That It has a tonic water feel to it without having that medicinal taste of tonic water. It's very much like a tonic water. Grapefruit's barely there. This is good. It'd be so good with a good gin. Actually, this would be a good after a workout. Actually, too. yeah. Yeah, I would like that too. Because it's it's kind of spritzy, you know? Yeah. It's, the, the carbonation is huge. Big carbonation. And it, when you take a sip, it's like having an actual soda. Like it, the bubbles cover your mouth. But you know, the yeah. sparkling waters that are flavored, they always have so much of that candy, like yeah, no, this over the top flavor. This is leaning more towards tonic water, but not medicinal. No, Because no. I, I always found tonic water to be very medicinal yeah. um, in scent and flavor. I, I never really loved the whole gin and tonic thing. But if you had a really nice, light botanical gin, like a Bombay Sapphire, but you know, um, with a little more of the pininess, that would be incredible in this drink. That is really yeah, tasty. Yeah, that's good. And I mean, and that I, don't, one is, I don't know what CBD infused actually does or yeah. means or whatever. You I know, know the oils is supposed to help joints and everything. and. And for this one, the colder the better. Oh yeah, colder yeah. the better on this one, definitely. I'm gonna get these two uh, hems taken care of. We're gonna stick the pillow in there and give it a look. Oh no, it's inside out. Mm-hmm, it's supposed to be. That's how these work when you're sewing. You're making hand puppets. <laughs> I am making hand puppets. Don't give me that finger. Gotta poke out the corners. <sighs> this is where she's gonna be very happy or she's gonna start swearing, guys. <laughs> I am already very happy. Because <laughs> if it doesn't fit this one, I will buy a different pillow for. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom flap is a little bit looser than the top flap, but it closes really, really nice. Flip it over and look! Ta-da! I made a cute little pillow for them to have in their tap room. Oh, I'm so happy with this one. That's good. Look how cute this is! Whoops! Ta-da! Yeah, that looks good. Actually, it looks like you don't have a shirt on now or nothing, but... <laughs> I am so ridiculously happy with this one. Like I said, I usually don't use the sewing machine. Um, I'm a hand sewer more. I do see that this applique is going to have some fraying on them. However, once it frays down to where that zigzag stitch is, it will stop fraying and make it more cozy. I think it'll make it a little more worn and cozy along the way. So I'm kind of okay with that. I think after the first wash or two, it would probably do that even more. Like it'll look more worn, which is probably good. So yeah, I'm so pleased with this one. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I do hope they like it in the tap room. And they're such a great brewery. You really have to check them out. They have parties every, just random. Just, hey, it's Wednesday, let's have a party. Let's do a thing, let's have an event, let's have a charity. And if you are a bike rider, that is a great one to go to because the trails around there are amazing. It's such a great place and the people are amazing. The fact that the whole staff has the logo tattooed on them. The entire staff has the logo tattooed on them. Tattooed. What? You've got to check them out on social media. They have great posts and so many fun things going on. Highly recommended to check them out. And if you go there, maybe you'll see my pillow sitting on one of the couches there because that's super fun if you do. Uh, thanks again for watching. Next week we'll be uh, hitting up another brewery. If you haven't already, don't leave us untapped. Tap that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never have to miss another one of my crafty messes. 
we look forward to hearing from you. Leave comments. I love it. I love chatting with everybody. Um, leave comments and we'll talk to you again soon. Uh, see you next Thursday. Oh. <gasps> no, he's drinking it now. I don't have anything to cheers with. <laughs> cheers, guys. Gimme, give gimme. Give <laughs> don't spill it. Cheers, everybody. You know, just because I'm not doing a thing doesn't mean you have to talk. <laughs> what do you think, guys? <laughs> Tell us about that in the comment. When Mallory is not doing stuff, should you talk? Set this out of the way. Actually, I have too many coasters. Yeah, just go like that. You've seen it. Who knows, you might say something interesting. I doubt it. I doubt it too. I, I couldn't find any bobbins, and then I had to refill a bobbin with the new thread, and then the thread wouldn't go through the needle, and I had to thread the whole thing, and I like, I did everything wrong. It was craziness. Then we couldn't find the power cord. <laughs> Setting up the um, the sewing machine was a rough time for us. Anyway, can I uh, like yeah, drink a ahead. beer? Like, what the heck? It's gonna babe? get warm. <laughs> If it's warm, you won't steal it though, so yeah. not too bad. Don't go to the bathroom. I know, I gotta make sure I don't do anything naughty. What? I gotta make sure I don't do anything naughty. For a switch. He would touch the hot part of the iron because he's not gonna think about that, just like he does it with the super glue. Well, it, it's different. No. <laughs> don't touch things you shouldn't touch. It's pretty simple. Don't touch hot irons is bad. Tip of the day. And always read your instructions. Actually, let me move this back for you can see it better. Cool. Thank you, cameraman. Director. Cameraman. Cameraman, cameraman. Does whatever a cameraman does. <laughs> You know the old song. Cameraman, cameraman, doing the things a cameraman can. What's he like? It's not important, cameraman. trying to figure out right now is the zigzag on your right or your left the needle uh the left so then think about that when you do the first stitch yeah i was and do a hand for the first one instead of the power and rub your tummy and pat your head would you like to run the sewing <laughs> machine too? Well, no, then you won't ever learn. <laughs>